Nigerian Super Eagles will not be happy. Despite being unbeaten, they have drawn all three games. Match day four here versus Benin. We'll see if they can get back to winning ways and back on track in World Cup qualification. We'll have a look at the highlights. Nigeria versus Benin. As usual, subscribe. If you haven't, click on that notification bell to get more updates. Not a done deal, of course, up against Benin as uh, referee Pierre Adcho gets the game underway. Of course, the Super Eagles playing in green. Goes without saying with Benin in yellow. Alex Uwobi trying to deal with that, and it's been a good work by Doku. Dispossessed and uh, knocked down to the ground. Nigeria picking up possession. Chukweze, the player, hitting the deck on that occasion. As Luckman with a nice little touch there and a good opportunity for them to uh, push forward. Waiting for a little bit of support with Osai. Gets the ball back to Iwobi. Dropped into the penalty area. and the, But also managed to score two goals against Cameroon. Wonderful defensive play at the back. And a good chance Nigeria on the attack. And uh, just this... Benin once again, a little bit of space, good ball down to the left-hand side. Hassan gets rid of his man. Can he square it into the middle, picked up by Doku. And, uh, well, the attempted pass, the second game in charge. Joseph Pizzero was the man. Here's a good break, an opportunity. Racing through the middle, the shot comes in. It's not a... Doesn't get past the defenders. Luckman tries to weave between the Benin defence, but... The Africa Cup of Nations, of course. That's a really good ball. That is nice touch as well from Iwobi. Back out to the left-hand side. Picked up and taken forward. An opportunity. Osai. Good use of uh, Luckman on that occasion. Little touch potentially. Is he offside? Well, the flag went up. And you could just see. Just sneaked on the uh, on the wrong side of the last defender. And uh, you can see that that went down well with Huntonji. The Angers centre-back. Will uh, be very happy with that. Just look at Lookman there. Fraction offside, I think. We just oh, not a great ball, but it's picked up by Lookman. There's a chance. And a nice little bit of space there. The ball comes through. The flag went up, though, for Moffy. And, uh, well, he was happy with the... Uh, to set up your teammate. Got to get the right moment to just... Uh, Ian Achu is uh, always a little bit uh, scary moments there for Nigeria at the back. Norbali just getting his pass out. And Osei he picks the ball up. He's got Lukman down to the left. An opportunity here for Nigeria. Waiting for a little bit more support. Uh, Mumini's back in position. There's the shot coming in. Not a bad one at all. Coming from the ever dangerous Pride Osei. Just a little bit wide. Calls for the corner, but I don't think there was contact, and it will be a goal kick. But ever so dangerous. Good work from Lookman. Sets the ball up perfectly for the Fenerbahce man who unleashes that shot, and it's um, just wide of the target. Marcel Janjinu flings himself out to the left hand side. Ball into the midfield. Now Nigeria. That's a good through ball as well. Lookman trying to get on the end of it. Dealt with by. Well, this, he did well to uh, say just uh, get rid of his defender. Where's he going to go? Left, right? We don't know. Into the penalty box. Far post. A great opportunity. It goes way over the top. Chukwes, it was, well, just uh, lingering with intent. Hope I want to see you getting in and preventing him from getting a little bit of space. The big goalkeeper there is the delivery. Oh, it's a good header. Great opportunity. And that was there for the taking for Benin. But I think the flag has gone up for an offside call just have a look at this again first of all that's the header there yeah, he's in the fence every defender very well rehearsed in what they're trying to do until now Chukweze making a bit of space for himself puts it on his right foot there's the ball it's been pulled back anybody there oh what a shot what a goal that is absolutely pure class from Onyadika brilliant goal 
gave himself a bit of space, delivered a brilliant shot that flew past the goalkeeper, Janjinu. Nigeria take the lead, and how about that for a strike? There was so much traffic around him, but he still managed to find the boulevard to hit a powerful right-footed shot into the corner. Chukwese making a bit of space, squares the ball into the path of Onyadika, the Club Bruges man with that stunning shot. In it goes, Nigeria take the lead. And it all comes down to the man who just... Just to give you an idea of uh, what they're capable of doing, of course. That's a wonderful pass into the penalty box. How about that for a challenge? Top quality there coming from Tanimu. But they're still in possession. Great opportunity. Good chance. Great opportunity. How about that? There's your goal, Ben. I've just split open the defence. And well, he's got a bit of an injury. It looks like Jorel Dosu. But how about that? He scores the equaliser. That was fantastic. But I don't think he'll be able to continue. He's got a hamstring injury, I think. Well, just look at this. That was the touch there coming from Calvin. A, a reckless attempt to clear the ball. And you can see that uh, Jorel Dosu races onto it wonderful opens up his right foot into the corner to beat Nwabali limps away with a muscle injury it appears great hassling as well and that will be his 10th goal in 62 matches good play Lookman Lookman tries to get the ball across I don't know if that was a strange cross like Ball. It wasn't a shot, of course. He saw that Moffy was on the right hand side, but it kind of like uh, curled around to the right hand side. Whereas uh, it would have been like, look at the way that he just gets past his man. It was definitely. A oh, it's banged in. Look at that for a goal. Steve Mooney crashes it in. How about that for Bennon? A little touch there, but the strike was just sumptuous. 17th goal there for Mooney. Crashing it in from close range Stanley Nwabali didn't have a chance just watches it basically get out of the way that was just hit with so much venom and force brilliant goal and a little smudge going on and uh, this will continue to uh, thread itself through for a while it seems just because they're all bunched together Mooney with a chance and he couldn't get himself on the end of that I want to clear that as quick down. Well, that was nearly a wonderful piece of play. Junior Oletan doing really well. Great through ball. Kind of rolled on top of it. The challenge came in. There's definitely no foul, but great work from Junior Oletan. Big guys coming into the cent central position on Uashu's big bonnet. Nicely done. An opportunity here. Onuashu to the right-hand side. Picked up by... Oh, there's a delivery. Oh, they were queuing up. They needed to communicate. And there was no communication. That was the issue there. That was set up sublimely there. With Chukweze delivering the ball into the penalty box. The Lookman was there. They also had Onuashu, the tallest player on the pitch. But who was in the better position? Well any of them basically you just had the goalkeeper to beat oh he couldn't get the ball over there Loyan. oh it's a chance it's well very close the goalkeeper had to come out and there's well that was uh, <laughs> the Marcel Janjino you know, just trying to parry the ball yeah, well it's uh, this charge of the Super Eagles we go النجم ويلفريد انديدي لاعب ليستر سيتي الانجليزي ويلفريد انديدي طويله وعاليه لمسه وهوبا عاليه عاليه اعتقد تضرب اعتقد ضربه روم يوسف يحطها في اليمين وادي واحده طويله وعميقه ولمسه جود فايتنج
Super Eagles unfortunately have lost here uh, to Benin. Their woes continue. They sit bottom of the group. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.